Greetings and welcome to a new video. I hope you are all doing well. In this video, I will show you how to jailbreak iOS 16.7 on all your Pale Range jailbreak supported devices. So as you can see it on my iPhone 8 Plus, I am on iOS 16.7 and you can see it also in iTunes. The method shown in this video is completely free and legit. Also, this method will work without a bootable USB to run Pale Linux. This method will work natively on Windows. This method supports both rootless and rootful. Now to jailbreak iOS 16.7 we will be using Windrain. Windrain is a completely free and legit software and it is free for a lifetime. First of all, simply get the Windrain 2.0 package. The link will be in the description or in the pinned comment. Get it from there, unzip and you will see the contents right here. First of all, install USB DK. It will prompt you to restart the PC. Do it once. Next up guys, you need iTunes so please get it directly from the apple's website and you will find the official link to install it through windows if you did it from the microsoft store uninstall it and get it from here now guys let's simply right click windrain 2.0 and run it as administrator right guys the software looks like this so it will display your device and version right here and on your device you will find trust this computer Please hit trust. Now here you'll find Pale Rain. So now you have two modes in WinRain 2.0, rootless and rootful. You can use either of them. Now guys, just to show you that the rootful mode works, I will use the rootful this time. So select rootful from here, then put a check mark to create fake FS, then hit next and you will see this dialog. Please remove the passcode on your A11 device on iOS 16. So you can see I don't have any passcode. Remove it. Also, if you ever set a passcode, you will have to go to general and reset and erase all content and settings. Please back it up first and then re jailbreak your device and then it will work or it will panic and you will not see the pale rain loader. So I will hit OK and my device will go into recovery mode. Just follow the instructions to get it to DFU. Hit start and you will find the load driver stage here. Please wait for this process to finish. So you can see the process is ongoing. I'm keeping this stage uncut so that you can see that it works so my device is now booting all done okay so the stage one is that it will start to create the fake fs first so on your device you will see verbus and then you will find copying files to fake fs please wait here for like 10 minutes and your device will boot into normal mode so i will wait right here all right guys after creating the fake fs my device booted up but i am not seeing the pale rain loader yet but i want to show you that it actually worked because you can see my space my available space reduced so this stage is done now i will hit done here then go to rootful again then deselect create fake fs this time then hit next okay and my device will go into recovery mode again i will simply follow the instructions to get it into dfu this time all right and then i will see the low driver stage so it is almost done my device is booting so now the device is booting you will see verbus and you will see all done here right here now guys once the device boots up you will find the pale ring loader right on your home screen so make sure you're connected to the wi-fi and open it now simply install your favorite package manager Cilio or zebra so we will wait for the installation to complete right here now guys while it installs i want to show you that if you want to use the rootless method it is very similar so 
you will simply hit rootless hit next and device will go into recovery mode then dfu and you will see the payload loader and the rootless is complete all right so we will simply set passcode to use sudo close and you will find the package manager right here hello so now you can see the version ios 16.7 jailbroken rootful it is palerin rootful as you can see it right here iphone 8 plus and it is working without any problem everything is populated your tweaks will work no problems whatsoever with it also guys to remove the jailbreak and return to stock you can simply hit rootful right here then select force revert then simply jailbreak your device and your device will be returned to the stock stage lastly guys if you think that your itunes drivers are messed up you can simply open a windows update check for update and install the apple usb device from here it will restart your device sometimes it does not even require a reboot and your itunes and everything will start working again without any problem but this problem rarely happens that's all for this video guys if you still have questions please ask in the comment section and i will reply you as soon as possible i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care of yourself